water utilities in many parts of the country transfer money okay. from the water fund to the, uh, to the general fund. And as that happens, there's less money available for fixing and repairing and updating the water systems. And that's something that I think a lot of the public isn't maybe aware of, but it's, it occurs on a regular basis. This is the uh, first annual Clarkson Water Forum. So what we have in the Water Forum is uh, two sessions. A morning session on drinking water quality, and the afternoon session is uh, water quality and, and uh, monitoring and modeling set around Great Lakes, uh, water management issues, uh, St. Lawrence River, Hudson River. So we're sort of surrounding New York State in terms of water quality uh, problems and issues. In order to really deal with water, you have to deal with it from so many different aspects. We have here on campus today civil engineers, environmental engineers, who are the people you would expect, but we also have biologists, we have mathematicians, we have chemical engineers, we have economists, all thinking about water and the issues surrounding water. I think the big challenges facing drinking water utilities throughout the country is really has to do with climate change and extreme weather events. As, as time goes on, there's been more and more extreme weather events. Um, recent years, there have been uh, harmful algal blooms that shut down the city of Toledo's water system for several days. Uh, you know, the Great Lakes are a wonderful resource, but they are vulnerable to climate change. And, and we need to better understand that and better prepare and respond to that. There are more emerging pathogens that are concerned. The Galeria fowleri has been increasing. That's a brain-eating amoeba that's, that's very scary. I'll be talking about um, a Legionella, which is a natural aquatic organism but causes Legionnaire's disease. Um, but I'll be also uh, talking about several other um, viruses, human viruses that are shed in, um, in waste, come from polluted waters. Clarkson has such a wealth of resources devoted to water by them talking with each other, now you can have the people who are figuring out what's coming in through the atmosphere and landing into our streams and our lakes, talking to the people who are figuring out how to get those things out of the lakes. You have the people talking about the pollutants and the people talking about the effect on wildlife. So putting the whole picture together is what we're going to have to do if we're really going to drive to solutions.